Wow, Doug, this place is awesome. I'm glad you like it. We call it Shipwreck Shirley's, but um, why don't you have a seat? We've got some uh, Kahiki chairs that a friend of mine salvaged from the restaurant, so. Wow. Welcome. Thank you so much. Hey guys, my name is Michael DeBonis and I am the editor of Curious Seabus. That's WOSU's project where you submit your questions about our area and we do our best to find the answers. Now, Columbus Neighborhoods is working on a great segment all about the history of the Kahiki Supper Club. That's because uh, one of our listeners and viewers, Matt Bilger, submitted a question saying, whatever happened to the Kahiki Supper Club and will it ever come back? In the process of producing that segment, Doug Motes reached out and said that he had a great collection and he's built quite an impressive tiki room here in his basement. Doug, thanks again for welcoming us into your home. Oh, you're absolutely welcome. Come here, I'll, I'll show you a couple of things that we've got from the Kahiki. Great. We actually call this Kahiki Corner. We've got a photograph of the very last night that the Kahiki ever was opened. And we've got another photograph by Kojo Kamau showing one of the interiors of the Kahiki. And I just happened to have a couple of menus showing what you could get at the Kahiki, including these wonderful cocktails. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Not You can see that, it's pretty cool. Awesome. And then this restaurant is gonna show you some of the food and what you could get, so I'll show you that. But over here, we have a selection of some of the, I don't know, more rare mugs and things that you could have gotten. For instance, this was actually made by Bill Sapp's wife, Marcy, in the basement of the Kahiki, and this is one of the original Kahiki ashtrays. And so Bill Sapp was one of the original owners of the Kahiki? He was, Bill Sapp and Lee Henry. In fact, they got the idea uh, after they'd opened up the top that they wanted a bit more of a casual place. So um, they, they went down, actually they went down to a place called the Maikai in Fort Lauderdale. And the Kahiki, that's kind of the blueprint for what the Kahiki is. This is a, a mystery bowl from the Maikai. If you've heard of the legends of the mystery girl and the mystery drink, it was kind of lifted from the Maikai. But this is one of theirs, and this is something that you could have gotten, something very, very similar at the Kahiki, and they would have danced the drink to your table and really had a lot. In fact, a wahini, or a waitress might have said, aloha, here's Whoa, your mystery thank drink. You so much. So yeah, you, now, now you've officially been welcomed to Shipwreck Shirley's. Uh, but so we've got that. She also made the zombie mug, and these are kind of heavy, but what's kind of cool about the zombie is that you would actually, when you entered the Kahiki, it was in brass as the handles to the door, the exact same face. And then the little barrelito, the rum barrel, is, is one of those as well. And then we've got the Idol's Cast. This is a little bit later. This was made by a Columbus place called Hoffman Pottery. And I call it kind of the baby mystery bowl. Uh -huh. <laughs> but it's, it's pretty spectacular. And then you've got the actual Kahiki teapot and some more of the, uh, the Hoffman mugs, the Headhunter and the Grog, and actually the Grog Pour. Uh, and then holding all of those amazing little swizzle sticks, that was actually the base of one of the lamps that you might have found on the, one of the tables, maybe by the aquariums, maybe by, they had an amazing rainforest that was going off every about 20 minutes, there was a thunderstorm. And of course the, um, the napkins that are right there. So we, we love it and uh, we wanted to pay a little bit of homage to it here in uh, Shipwreck Shirley's. Well, you know, I'm relatively new to Columbus. I never got to experience the Kahiki when it was around. I know you were there when growing up. And, I was. And, and so can you get, get, just give us a sense of, of what it was like when it was really going? Oh, sure. I mean, they didn't take reservations. So it opened in 61 and you would just, it would only open at five o'clock and it was easily a two hour wait oftentimes. And you would go in, there wasn't just one bar, there weren't two bars, there were actually three bars where you could order these amazing cocktails. And when you drove up, the whole place was, when you walked in, there were these giant Easter Island heads called Moai that had flames shooting out the top of them. So you walked into all of that, and then in the middle of this place, it was like you're walking into a little Polynesian village, and at the tail end was another giant Easter Island head as a fireplace, and its mouth was where all the flames were coming out mm -hmm. of, and it was right by that that they had this giant gong, and that's the gong that they would use to summon the mystery girl who would dance the drink out to your table. It's truly a, a lost tiki palace. In fact, there was a big exhibition in Paris just a few years ago, and they did an entire chapter on the Kahiki and, and an entire layout of what was there. So tell me a little bit more about these menus, and let's talk about some of the drinks that would have been in these <laughs> wonderful vessels that you have sure. in your collection. Do I have the drink menu here? You've okay, got the take, drink menu. So let's take a look. So again, this is this would have been 16 ounces of rum and deliciousness. 
<laughs> that was <laughs> inside the mystery drink. Uh, so we, we've got that guy. Um, this is another one of my favorites. It's called the Jungle Fever. If you look really closely, it's a martini glass that has a tiny little uh, tiki as the stem, which I, I want to find that like crazy. That's our Idols cast, and to me, that's the little bit of the baby, uh, you know, the, the baby mystery bowl. We don't know all of the recipes. We know some of them. We've got the one over here. Whoops. Let, let that up here. For the, um, for the starboard light, which is going to be that green guy. But there was also one called the Port Light that Sandro Conti, who was one of the original bartenders at the Kahiki, it was a rare bourbon tiki drink. Because you always think about rum and what they're going to do with, with rum. Um, but you could have gotten grogs, you could have gotten headhunters, you could have gotten zombies, you could have gotten all kinds of really amazing drinks. Probably the closest uh, is going to be today at, at Grass Skirt. Uh, the, the folks here have a delicious drink called uh, Rum and Happiness that I really like. And then, of course, we have our signature drink here. We have a Shipwreck Shirley, which is lots of rum and deliciousness, too. So. And uh, the Grass Skirt, that's a, a bar downtown Columbus? Yeah, it's, it's right off of um, Gay Street. And in fact, there's a group called the Fraternal Order of the Moai that they saved a really amazing piece of the Kahiki. And I can show you a little copy of George over here if you can walk sure, this way. Yeah. So we've got a few more uh, the Kahiki mugs. But George, or George the Monkey, or Pete the Pig, whatever you want to think of, he was a big water fountain that when you actually came into the Kahiki, that was the first thing that greeted you. And that's a little mug or a little candle that would show you there. But they salvaged it, and it's actually in the courtyard of Grass Skirt now. So you can go and, and see a little piece of the Kahiki anytime you'd like at Grass Skirt. And these are some of the more, I think people see, um, the, I call it Mr. Peanut. That's a, a Paul Miller production, uh, the little guys that are down here. But all of these are uh, Kahiki mugs as well. And that's another, that's a um, salt and pepper shaker that was made by the Hoffman Pottery Group. So all of those are Kahiki mugs as well. You mentioned earlier some uh, some bathroom tiles that you acquired from the Kiki. Can you show me those? Uh, yeah, we just got them framed up. So I'll show you. They're going to be over here. I can hold them, which are pretty amazing. Um, these would have been tiles that would have lined the ladies' room at the Kahiki. So each one of them is hand done, and I think that they're extraordinary. I know they kind of look like museum pieces, but to me they are. They're an amazing piece of Columbus's storied tiki history. So uh, we're really, really happy to be caretakers of these right now. Wow, they're gorgeous. Well, Doug, I can't thank you enough for welcoming us into your home and sharing your passion for tiki culture. Thank you again so much for, uh, for having us over. You're very welcome. Mahalo and aloha. <laughs> Have fun with the Kahiki at Columbus Neighborhoods. It's amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome.